this video I'm going to show you how you can make an exclamation mark sub count command for Twitch with Streamlabs Cloudbot. My name is Tree and I'm extremely support for videos. Stream smarter, not harder. But before I begin, I stream every Tuesday and Friday, 8pm Central European Time on Twitch.tv slash Tree. Any questions about streaming, just hop in and ask them. What we want to do is go to streamlabs.com and log in with your Twitch. On the left side, we see Cloudbot. This is under the Feature tab. Click on that. Then we go to Commands in the top here and click on Add Command. What we do is we call it exclamation mark sub count. You can also call it exclamation mark subs or sub if you want to. Then as a response, we want to type we currently, currently have channel subs on our channel. So right now what I did is we currently have number of subs. Oh, we need some more subscribers, subscribers on our channel. So what it does is this uh, curly bracket channel dot subs curly bracket translates to the actual number of subscribers you have. So for example, if I would have 10 subscribers, this will say we currently have 10 subscribers on our channel. You can make the text whatever you want, as long as the part you want to display as the actual number of subscribers is curly bracket channel dot subs curly bracket. This is only the number, so it doesn't already say subscribers or anything like that, just the play number. And then what we can do is we can let it reply in chat, but we can also let it reply in a whisper. With a whisper, it means that if somebody does exclamation mark sub count, they will get a DM back with this message, with the response here. If you do chat, everybody will just see it in the chat, like all your other commands. Then we have permission here. This is something that you have to choose for yourself. Do you want everybody to be able to check how many subscribers you have? Or do you only want mods to be able to do that? Or only yourself, because you might not want to say how many subscribers you have. That's all up to you. Then we have advanced options here as well at the top. We click on that, global cooldown and user cooldown. The global cooldown means that if this command has been used, if you set this on, for example, 10, this command cannot be used for another 10 seconds by nobody. User cooldown means that if we set this on, for example, five seconds, this user cannot use this command for another five seconds. Then we have all these things about costs here. Just leave those empty. This is basically the loyalty points you can save up with Streamlabs. You don't really want this to cost points, so just leave this open. Then alias, this is a different way of triggering the command. You could, for example, do exclamation mark subs and then edit and exclamation mark sub, sub number. Now with all these other things, subs, sub and sub number, this command will also trigger. Not only with the sub count, but also these alternative ways to trigger this command. Then we have keywords. This is a trigger somewhere in the sentence. So for example, if we do the, the word sub here and we add this, now if anybody anywhere in your chat says sub, this command will trigger. This is a bit spammy and I will not recommend you do this. So just remove this. <laughs> and hide on tip page, just ignore that. And then confirm. Make sure that the command is on. You see that if this is to the right, so if it's green, bluish, then it's on. And you need to make sure that the cloud bot here is on as well. Also needs to be to the right. Now we need to go to our own Twitch channel and we need to go to our chat. In here we need to make sure that Streamlabs is a moderator. So we do slash mod. Uh, stream, I can't type stream labs. Nope, still can't type. <laughs> And for me, it says that it's already moderated because I already did this. If you watch other videos about commands, you probably already did this step and just ignore this. But if you're new and you haven't done that yet, make sure to do that. And then what we can do now is we can do exclamation mark sub count. We currently have 74 subscribers in the channel. There we go. We have 74 subscribers apparently. But we can also do exclamation mark sub, subs and sub number because that were alternatives we already set. You don't have to set the alternative, just only having exclamation mark sub count is more than fine. But just see for yourself if you want alternative ways to trigger the command. This is how you do it. But I have a lot more tutorials about commands in Streamlabs. So just hop into this playlist with me and I will show you a lot more commands.